full of science. If any of you, by the way, feel like after hearing me, you want to convert to Islam, don't hesitate. Now, uh, one of the things, <coughs> I need some water, guys. Somebody give me, somebody get me a water and I want a, a falafel sandwich. Uh, one of the beautiful things about Islam, and which will make any Muslim, uh, non Muslim, convert to Islam, especially if she's a woman. The Prophet of Allah, he said that the Muslim woman in the heaven, she will be 70 times more pretty. Hey guys, look at your wife. Look at your wife. Just take, take, take a look. Take a look. I, I know. I, I don't want to look. Okay. Now, listen. Focus will be again. Stop looking at your wife. All right? I don't want you to have a heart attack. Allah will make your wife 70 times more pretty. I mean, this is amazing. Imagine your wife, this wife, hey, yuck, yuck. She will be 70 times more pretty. All of this because Allah will make 70 times plastic surgery for her. I mean, is it this is beautiful for free? Her breast will be 70 times more beautiful. Don't look at your wife now. Come on, stop doing that. I mean, and keep your weapon away from you, okay? Here we go. Don't put weapon around. Don't look at your wife and don't look at your mother-in-law. I'm not encouraging you to do anything wrong. Focus with me, please. In the heaven of Allah, think about this, that in the heaven of Allah, Allah will make your wife 70 times more beautiful. I mean, this is uh, unbelievable. Look how much Allah, he think about you, my friend. He want to make your wife 70 times more beautiful. Like halak, halak. Halak now, she will be 70 times more beautiful. Halak, you are talking about hate? Are you serious? Okay, Halak, pause for us chapter 4, verse number 15 in the Quran. Can you? According to your Quran, if the Christians have hate, it's coming from Allah. In chapter 5, verse 14, it says that Allah spread hate and enmity between the Christians. And you are a Muslim speaking about hate? And who's talking about hate? I'm just describing what Allah will do to you. He will make you 70 times more pretty. And this is how stupid this promise, uh, Hala. If, you, if there's a three girls in the, in the earth right now, let us say you and your sister and your cousin. Your name is Hala. Your sister, his name is Aisha. Your cousin, her name is uh, uh, Aisha too. Or let us not name her Hafsa. And Hafsa is three times more beautiful than you. And Aisha is twice more beautiful than you. And then Allah, he made you all 70 times more beautiful. Guess what, Hala? Nothing changed. You were ugly in earth, you are ugly in heaven. Because all of them, they got 70 times more pretty. Nothing changed. Correct, guys? I mean, what a stupid this promise is. You were ugly in earth, you are ugly in heaven. Because all of them, they are, they got the same double of beauty, and they are still more beautiful than you. But anyway, you know, I love to go to the heaven of Allah for a different reason. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Okay, listen. Think with me, think with me, think deep. The Muslims in the heaven, Muslim men, they will be doing what in the heaven? They will be busy doing what? Somebody tell me. Having sex. Now they will be wearing Arabian dress, but it's a green. But they are not allowed to take it off. So what they need to do? They need to hold the dress in their mouth. So he's having sex and the dress, the dress in his mouth. And I will go to the heaven and I go there and I say, Muhammad is a crazy, uh, 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 and nobody there to say a word for me. Because they cannot leave the dress, they have to hold it for eternity. Everybody is holding the dress between his teeth and he's having bang bang. Muhammad is a stupid, uh, 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 uh. and red head, what's his guy's name? Real, he will not be able to answer me. I do not need to take the mic from them. They are mute. Stupid religion, my friend. 
Oh, Ibrahim, are you there? Ibrahim, are you there? He is not. Guys, are you having a good time here? Are we having a good time? Okay, anyone who said he have a good time, by the way, guys, they are practicing taqiyah. Let me tell you about those Christians. They have a verse in the Bible. It's called the chapter 3, verse 28. It's called taqiyah. All right? They will not tell you the truth. Unbelievable. Because they're afraid. If I say to them, are you enjoying your time? And they say, no, I will bounce them because I'm an Arab. I mean, we believe in democracy. Actually, we are the first nation who created democracy. al Qazafi he said, the word democracy is coming from the word democracy, which means bring the chains. I'm serious. al Qazafi he said that. And he said even Shakespeare is a Muslim, and his real name is Sheikh Isber. Unbelievable. I'm getting dizzy. Nightmare, the mic is yours. <laughs> okay, I don't know from where to start. You made a hundred errors. <laughs> so I get confused. I don't know from where to start. You're talking about the goats here in the Quran. I already destroyed you on that. I already destroyed you. And you keep repeating because they are new Muslims. And you think you, play, you can play the same joke on them and make fun of them? That hadith talking about the uh, verses of breastfeeding, that three hadith or four are mentioned. Only one. Uh, hold on, hold on. Nightmare, do you, do, you, do you deny that your prophet, he ordered the Muslim women to do breastfeeding for adults, yes or no? No, I don't take the mic from me. I can't, I can't talk, uh, answer that question, okay? The hadith about the breastfeeding and, uh, you know, the one that you mentioned, and this reported three times, you know, and only one guy who mentioned the vote beat uh, the, the page of the Quran. Only one. The rest, other ones, didn't mention goat or any animal and those hadith one of them is from hadith from the volume of muslim sahih better than the other one and the one who mentioned the both pages of the quran is known to the alliance that's why the scholar okay so where is the breastfeeding verse in the quran if this is a false story, why it's not in the Quran right now, Nightmare? You might. I'm talking about the, the, the sheep in the, 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 the Quran. But this is mean there's verses are missing, my friend. If it's not the sheep, it's what? It's the elephant who ate it? You have to give us who is the one who got these verses gone. How those verses became missing then? It's guys is not a sheep. It is not a sheep. It was the vacuum machine. Okay. Where is those verses? What happened to them? You might. Okay. There are many interpretation of the of what happened to some scholars. They say that uh, the verse was abrogated. You know, and some of those scholars. They yeah, did he say the verse? Did he say the verse? Did he say the verse? He said verse, right? So it's a verse. So what if it's abrogated? Should we stay? There's many verses in the Quran are abrogated, but they are in the Quran. How come only this verse, which is abrogated, according to you saying it is abrogated, is not in the Quran? You might. And how it was abrogated? You might. Abrogated by what? No, 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 you, you don't know anything about abrogation. Abrogation sometimes is taken out of the Quran and as well as as a hukum, I mean, ruling and pronunciation. And sometimes it's only hukum. Show me where your prophet, he said, 
if you want, you can take verse from the Quran if they are abrogated and we throw them in the garbage. I thought the Quran says it clearly that Allah protect the Quran. You, right now you are saying to me that we take only the rule and we throw the, the verse in the garbage. That does not make sense. But because they are lost, we remember the rules, but we do not know the verses. If you want to follow the verse anyway, if you want to practice the verse, if you want to follow the rule of the verse, why you take it off from the Quran? And who allowed you to do that? Your mind. Okay, I'm telling I'm telling you what the, the or some opinion of some scholars. They say that verse, you know, was abrogated, you know, uh, left pronunciation, written, but hukm it stays, you know. And the the other opinion of scholars they say this you know, nightmare, you are the same as a as a woman, she work in a delivery room, and then the women we get her inside the room, and now she wanna give delivery, and then the women she start telling you. There is many ways we can deliver the baby. Either we take off the panty of your wife. Some scholars, they say, we do not need to take the panty of the wife. We need to take the bra. Some, they say, we better we flip her in her belly. I mean, give me the answer. Don't tell me some, they say, the religion, the religion, Islam, is, is some, you know, Islam is about some, some he say, some she say. I mean, what's wrong with this religion? Or what I'm asking you for? Where is the verses of a breastfeeding for adult? I am so angry to be honest with you because it's gone. It's going to be more fun, man, if we have it in the corner until now. And I believe strongly that it's not the goat who ate it. I agree with you. I believe it was Aisha. By the way, guys, do you know that Aisha, she ordered her sister. She ordered her sister. To breastfeed adult men who want to enter upon her? Yeah, unbelievable. Guys, imagine Aisha, she hired her sister to be a secretary, not secretary of a state like Hillary Clinton. However, I assure you, Hillary Clinton, she have no problem with breastfeeding for adults. Anyone have money, she would do it. I assure you that. But this is a different topic. So Aisha, she hired her sister. Any Muslim man, when I enter upon her, he have to suckle from her secretary, which is her sister. That's deep. I mean, this is amazing. Look how Aisha is smart. She is. She thought about it. If everyone want to enter upon me, I want to give my boobs. I will spend the whole day. Men suckling from her my boobs. So she hired her sisters. One, they have shift. Sister go, sister come. Like let's say a four hour shift, you know? And each man he wanna enter because if he suckle from Aisha, sister, as if he suckle from her because they are sisters. See the intelligence? I mean, that's astonishing. Nightmare. Is it true that Aisha, she practiced that? Is that true? Your mind? Yeah, they say it was practice, but it was uh, her she had, you know, and the other wife, the prophet, they, they, you know, they refused. It was her she had, you know. Guys, you, did you hear this? People, did you, did you hear this? Did, do, <coughs> <laughs> Guys, I have to close the room. Sorry, I'm going to go and visit Aisha. <clears throat> All right, first because my throat is dry, and I think women women milk will be very useful. And as long as it's for free, I mean it's for free. <laughs> what the heck? The wife of the prophet, she put her sister as a secretary, and her job is to give her boobs to anyone when enter. That's a beautiful. Mm -hmm. Who wanna go with me? Okay, w wanna go with me? Anyone wanna go with me? Give me one if you like to go and visit Aisha right now.
Okay, okay. Look like we are we are getting many now. This is too much. So let us do this. First come, first serve. All right, and you take a ticket. We don't want to fight there in front of Aisha. She will be upset and she might kick us all of us. We want to have good time. All right. And no, 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 no. You don't get the rest. You don't get the light. I get both of them. I will get her nipples close together, and I will do. I will. Uh, I have my trick. Don't don't fool me. It's my turn. Don't tell me you get the right. I get the. 